Okay. Thank, uh, thanks so much for attending my uh, presentation. Uh, uh, we, are, we are going to talk about our work is the QA and in silico immune trial to evaluate the low count quantitative spike method for alpha particle radio pharmaceutical therapies. Um, alpha, alpha particle emitting radio pharmaceutical therapies, in short, alpha RPTs, is gaining increasing clinical significance. So these therapies make use of the alpha emitting isotopes, such as radium 2 3, to ablate the tumor. But at the, at the same time, the emitted alpha particles also has a potential high normal tissue toxicity. Thus, it is important to, to manage the absorbed dose to monitor the worst event, adapt treatment regimes, and predict therapy outcomes. Fortunately, those isotopes also emit gamma ray photons, thus it enables spec-based dose quantifications. However, spec-based dose quantification is challenging um, in alpha RPTs. The first challenge is the uh, uh, low number of detected counts in the spec projections as shown here. And the second challenge is the complicated spec physics in the alpha spec. Conventional quantitative spec methods are usually based on reconstructed images. The uptake of VOI are estimated by averaging voxel values within each region. However, this approach was observed to be not optimal in alpha RPTs, yielding high bias and variance in the previous studies. We note here that the task is to estimate a small number of VOI uptake from, uh, like, uh, is to estimate a small number of VOI uptake but this reconstruction-based approach requires an intermediate step to estimate a large number of voxel values from a limited number of detected counts. This intermediate reconstruction step also complicates the compensation of spec physics. Thus, in our previous work, based on the idea first proposed by Dr. Carson, we developed a low-count quantitative spec method, in short, LCQ spec method, to estimate regional uptake directly from the spec projections. The method was designed to accurately compensate for the spec physics and address challenges at low counts. The method has been observed to yield regional up, uh, reliable regional uptake estimates with a single spec system. However, in real work, it is often be required to work with various spec systems with different configurations. This may result in high reliability in the dose quantifications across different spec systems. Although this reliability has not yet being evaluated in the context of alpha RPTs. Uh, in the previous studies, this kind of variability can be as high as 41% uh, with reconstruction-based quantifications. Uh, and this variability significantly hinders robust dose response relationship prediction and complicates combining and comparing data across centers. Thus, in this study, we evaluate the LCQ spec method with an in silico immune trial named ECDQA simulating a multi-center clinical trial for radium-223 based alpha RPTs. The primary objective of, of this trial is to evaluate the reproducibility of LCQ spec across spec scanners and collimator configurations. And the second objective includes evaluated accuracy and test rate test repeatability of the LCQ spec and compare the performance with an OSM reconstruction based method. Here we provide the flow chart of this trial it includes three major parts, virtual patient generation, spec imaging and the data processing, and the evaluations. So first, in this trial, we simulated 280 patients based on power analysis. The patient was simulated to have a prostate cancer and was treated with radium 2 3 based alpha RPT. And after that, we conducted a visual inspection and a com computer-aided checks. 12 patients were excluded during that process. Digital maps of each pa virtual patient were generated using XCAD. The height and width of the virtual patient was sampled from CDC published demographic data. And for each patient, the lesion diameter and lesion number were modeled from, uh, uh, was sampled from Gaussian distributions with parameters modeled from clinical data. After that, the lesions were inserted into different regions of the virtual patients um, with distributions modeled from clinical data. Finally, for each worker patient, we considered five real eyes with activity uptake sampled from Gaussian distributions, uh, also modeled based on published clinical data. And uh, digital maps of a virtual patient uh, was shown here. Next, for spec image uh, data processing and uh, uh, yeah, spec image and data processing. 
Uh, we image the entire population with semi assimilated spec scanners from three different vendors, each with three, uh, like, uh, each with three kilometers. And uh, we also conducted a test three test study with a 90 means break. And during that break, we simulated the physical decay of the isotope. Finally, we applied the LCQ spec and the conventional OICM based regional uptake quantifications. And we calculate the dose for the patients with single time point dosimetry model. Okay, for the primary objective of this trial, we used intra-class correlation coefficient of the estimates across spec scanners and coordinator configurations to evaluate the reproducibility of the LCQ spec method. Um, as shown here, the LCQ spec yielded ICC greater than 0 0.75, demonstrating the good inter-scanner coordinator, uh, coordinator configuration reproducibility. For our secondary objectives, we also compared the reproducibility of the LCQ spec with OSCM using the coefficient of variations. As shown in this uh, plot here, the LCQ spec yielded significantly lower in sample average coefficient of, of variation values in all the regions, demonstrating the higher reproducibility. Uh, we also calculated the recovery coefficient of the estimated dose of lesions to evaluate the accuracy of the LCQ spec and OSCM based methods. As shown in this volume plot of the RC values, the LCQ spec yielded nearly ensemble unbiased dose estimates across configurations, uh, with RC values very close to one average, and outperformed the OSCM based method. Finally, we used blind automatic analysis to evaluate the type 3 type 3 repeatability of the LCQ spec and OSCM based method. The dose on those figures shows the normalized difference um, between the estimate in the test and retest study. And we observed that for the LCQ spec method, the dose are more concentrated to the zero line, uh, indicates that LCQ spec outperformed OSCM based method considering the test rate test repeatability. So for the limitations of future works, uh, future evaluations are needed to assess the impact of variabilities in the segmenting AVOIs and the effect of uh, heterogeneous uh, intra-regional uptake, and the promising direction to further increase the realism of virtual patient simulation is to incorporate the models of radiopharmacokinetics. Okay, to conclude, LCQ spec provided high accuracy inter-scanner kilometer configuration reproducibility and test rate test repeatability for dose estimation in radium 223 based FRPT, outperforming conventional OICM based method. Uh, and the results of this trial highlights the potential of LCQ spec for dose quantification in the RFRPT and motivates further uh, multi-system clinical evaluations. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for your attention. Thanks for our uh, lab mates, collaborators, and the funding support.